pressure break. Well, happy Thursday. This is your pressure break. Sorry about the bad lighting. I'm in the fellowship hall and it's kind of dim. It's a little bit early in the morning, but uh, I was going through just a couple of news articles. I use Apple News, which is nice because I can tailor it to things that I enjoy. So I get a lot of articles about photography and running and things of that nature. But uh, a, a news article came through and it was basically a secular survey and it was fairly broad, ages 20 all the way through 40, uh, all across the United States, so different cross sections of America. And it said that 38 percent, and, and to me that's a very high number, 38 uh, percent of people surveyed had experienced anxiety or depression in the last 30 days that they considered to be debilitating. If you think about it, that, that's one in three. So, so if you're not one of those people, chances are you know somebody. And, and as Christians, as people in the church that, that follow Christ, we're, we're to be marked, but not marked by anxiety and, and depression. So I just wanted to look at Philippians chapter four and, and see what we are to be marked as. Now, before we read Philippians four, understand that the author, Paul, when he wrote this, he was uh, in jail. So he was in prison. He, he wasn't like sitting in a comfortable resort somewhere writing Hallmark cards, okay? So that was not his intent. He is consumed with his mission to share the gospel and to share the truth about Jesus. And he writes this in Philippians chapter four. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Step one, we're to be marked by joy, but not joy in our current circumstances, regardless. I mean, we could be having a great day, a great life, things could be good, but that is still not our sense of joy. We could be having a miserable, miserable uh, season in our life. We could be struggling with cancer. We could be struggling with a, a divorce, a separation. We could be struggling with so many different things in and around us, but there again, that's not our source for joy. Our source for joy is in the Lord. He goes on in verse five. He says, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Let your gentleness be known. If we as Christians were marked by our gentleness, by our graciousness, there's another translation that says reasonableness. If we as Christians were known for being reasonable people, if that was our first response, think about it. Think about it. People would enjoy us. We would be well respected because everybody likes somebody that is reasonable and gracious first. He goes on in verse six, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So not only are we supposed to be joyful and full of grace, but we're supposed to pray. So yeah, spoiler alert, we're talking about God at the 411 Family Service this weekend, which includes talking about prayer and unveiling this new uh, prayer request station that we'll also be using for upcoming 9 a.m. services. Guys, this is an exciting time in the life of our church. We can be different, set apart. We can be people growing spiritually and truly affecting the community that we live in, that we work in. Because after all, when we say we're cultivating hearts for Jesus from the heart of downtown, part of that is connecting people to Jesus. Prayer is a huge part of that. We're going to be giving our best in every single thing we do. Prayer is a huge foundation for that. And we're loving people and living our lives transformed by Jesus, which means we're not marked by anxiety and depression. We're marked by joy in the Lord. We're marked by being reasonable and being gracious. Let's be that church, transformed lives changed by Jesus. This has been your Pressure Break. We'll see you again next Thursday.